Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to another video tutorial on a Cosmos ecosystem airdrop that might not be so well known. Again, I kind of stumbled upon these by accident, and I've been collecting up the airdrops as I go along, and I want to make sure that I uh, socialize and share that information with other Cosmos stakers and holders out there who might not even know that these airdrops are available. And so in this video, I'm going to be focusing on Nomic, and we're going to get into exactly what Nomic is, what it does, and how we collect the airdrop. But first, let me go ahead and say the abbreviated version here is that if you are an Atom holder or staker, again, holder or staker, you can qualify for the Nomic airdrop. And I'm gonna show you how you go ahead and collect it. I'm actually going to show you how to do it using the Exodus wallet. Again, I had a small portion of Atom in my Exodus wallet, and you can actually import the Exodus wallet into Kepler, where it will see the Atom tokens in Kepler that you have in your Exodus wallet. So very, very cool. Again, if you have the Kepler wallet, it's even easier to do. And so let's go ahead and get ready to dive in here. Again, the abbreviated version of the warning is that everything you're seeing here is for educational and entertainment purposes only. I'm not an investment uh, advisor. I'm not, an, uh, this is not investment advice. You're going to watch this at your own risk and you losing any fiat currency tokens, assets, fees, whatever the case may be, by following the steps here, I am not liable for that taking place. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive in. Now, this is a very new project. The Nomic StakeNet just launched on January 31st. So in fact, this is just about a month old. You can see here that there's really not much going on on their blog site. If you were to check their Twitter feed, uh, you can see that you've got the Nomic.io page, which is gonna bring you here. And they've got their app, and you can enter the app, which is actually going to take you to a page we're gonna see in just a second. If we were to take a step back though, you'll notice that it's about bringing Bitcoin to the cosmos. And one of the things they talk about on their blog, if I was to click on the blog link, you can see we've got the Nomic StakeNet launch. And this details all of the tokenomics. It, de it details how the airdrop is going to be taking place. So we've already had the first airdrop. And that was the StakeNet launch on January 31st, 2022. If you're wondering when the snapshot took place, that was on January 21st, 2022. So 10 days after the snapshot, Atom holders and stakers are able to claim their Nomic tokens. Now, as you can see, I'm not going to read all of this to you, but just let me highlight one of the things that they put in here, uh, which I think is really exciting. And it's not just about bringing Bitcoin over, but they're talking about possibly seeing BTC used as, uh, in osmosis pools, right? Or in other protocols. And this is all gonna be done using that inner blockchain communication protocol or the IBC. So this is pretty interesting. And wouldn't it be great if there was an osmosis BTC pool uh, or Osmo BTC pool on osmosis. So this actually opens up all kinds of possibilities. So here are the airdrop details. They go into the tokenomics down here and there only are going to be 21 uh, million NOM initially. And then they've got sort of nine years of inflation, take it out to 210 million. Right, So it's not going to be sort of an unlimited supply type thing. It talks about the inflation schedule, the staking rewards, and I'm actually staking my nom Nomic right now. And so let's go ahead and dive in as to how we would do that, how you would first go out and see, hey, do I have something to claim? And in order to do that, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom of the page here. I would highly recommend jumping in their Discord, a lot of good information. Follow them on Twitter so that if anything changes, you know what's going on. And here is where you claim the airdrop and delegate your NOM. Now, there are a couple of caveats here. Number one, you have to have the Kepler wallet plugin installed. Again, I mentioned Exodus, but that was where I had my Atom tokens. And that was where I was staking the Atom tokens I had. The process of importing that wallet. I'm going to go over here in just a second, uh, but you have to have the Kepler wallet. Now, you'll also notice that when we come to the Nomic Bitcoin bridge, right at the top, you cannot transfer your NOM through Kepler. So right now you can claim it, you can stake it, and you can see here I'm actually staking it, and we'll talk about the percentage uh, APR in just a second, but 
you can't do anything else with it, right? Because it can't be transferred right now. And that's for stability for this stake net launch. Now, phase two, which you can read about in the blog, is going to be coming up. It said February or March. So it didn't take place in February. So we're going to be looking at March, right, for phase two. And phase two is going to be another airdrop. And it's also going to enable the transferring of NOM using the Kepler wallet. In fact, if I was to drop back real quickly here uh, to the blog and we were to pull the blog up, it actually talks about that down here under phase two, right? So here's phase two, they're looking February or March. And this is actually going to connect uh, the NOMIC project to the Bitcoin blockchain via their bridge protocol. Um, and NOM token transfers will also be enabled at this point, both locally and over the IBC protocol. Uh, so again, really, really exciting that probably within a month or so, we should be able to move the NOM that we have here uh, into another Kepler wallet, for instance. So let me go ahead and talk about how you do this, right? And I'm gonna show you sort of the what I find to be sort of the easiest way to do this. So the first thing that we would do is we're going to pull the Kepler wallet up. Again, remember, it's a requirement. You can see I've got 3.36. I've got uh, some minor staking rewards here that could be claimed. Again, not, not enough to claim. And when you are claiming, uh, I'm noticing that uh, the fee is very minimal. Now, here is what you're earning when you stake your NOM tokens. 855.11% a year. Now, when I first started a week or so ago, this was over a thousand percent. So obviously people are coming on board and they're collecting up and claiming their NOMIC tokens and they're staking them. But again, 855%, I only ended up with three, again, because I only had very, very little atom that qualified. Uh, but hey, I'll take it and I'll stake it at 855%. So here is what I would recommend. You're going to come up, you're going to click on the Kepler wallet if you've already got it installed. Uh, and again, this is if you already have it installed. Uh, and so this is one way to do it. If you didn't have it installed, you're going to come to this page, right? So whether you have it installed or you don't have it installed, once you get it installed, this is the page that you would end up at. This is how I would recommend you do it if you, and again, I, what I did, I installed it in a different browser because I didn't want to damage or have any unexpected results in my real Kepler wallet where I have quite a few assets. So you're gonna click on import existing account. And here is where you put the mnemonic or the private key for whatever the wallet is that is holding your Atom. And so in my case, I was using Exodus. And so to see the Exodus private key, and I can drag this out a little bit further, very simple to do. You're gonna click on settings. Uh, you're gonna to come to security and, uh, or wait a second, where are we at here? Backup, sorry, you're gonna to come to backup uh, and you're gonna get that secret phrase. Yes, I'm in a private place. I understand I'm not gonna show anybody the secret phrase. I click on it and now it's gonna ask me for my password. So let's get that entered in here. And I think I may have mistyped that. Okay, I did not. All right, so uh, as you can see, I kind of highlighted number two. And this is what I like about the Exodus wallet is that it doesn't show you the 12 uh, words in the passphrase by default. You have to mouse over them. And since I was already on top of parade here, you can see that the second word is parade. So what you would do is you mouse over each of these in turn you're gonna enter that in here. You're gonna give it a name, some name, any name. And you can see that the name I gave mine when I was pulling it over was just Trav's Exodus Adam. You're then gonna click on next. And that is actually going to go ahead and bring on board, and let's pull back over here to the bridge, bring on board this page here, where if you had any uh, nom that you could claim, they would show up here. Now, again, remember, uh, transfers are disabled, right? So I've got some rewards. If I was to claim these, I'm trying to remember if there's a fee because usually I don't even look at this um, very often. So let's click claim and see if there's any kind of a fee. And if there is, it's probably minimal. Um, but you could then claim it and then turn around and add it uh, to the validator, to the stake that you already have. 
Uh, and so it looks like it might be hanging up here. So let's just give it a quick refresh. Ah, so let's see if we can claim. There we go. All right. So again, I don't see any fee. So it's 0 0.081, 0 0.081. And now it's off and claiming. And there you go. It claimed it. And so it takes it a couple seconds, just like it does when you're using anything uh, on the Kepler site. Uh, or not so much the Kepler site, but the Kepler wallet. It takes it a few minutes or a few seconds to refresh here. And then you've got your Nomic. And let's see what we've got here. Oh, I apologize. <laughs> That's my staked amount. So I'm going to have to click on manage. And this is where we would come delegate it, right? Uh, so there was a little fee. I had 0.081. And you can see the fee was probably 0.01 something, right? So again, very nominal fee. And remember, when you delegate this to one of the validators, you are agreeing to lock it up for 14 days. And let's go ahead and click on delegate and we'll click OK. And I can't remember if I needed to pull some out of there. And it doesn't look like I did to cover the fee. I was thinking maybe I have to back off a little bit for the fee. But as you can see here, I now have 3.427 NOM. So again, you go to your Kepler wallet. You're going to click on the little person icon. You're going to click add account. You're going to click import existing account. You're going to put in the mnemonic for whatever the foreign wallet is. Again, if you're already using Kepler, uh, then this becomes not too difficult to do. But I, I wanted to use it from the Exodus wallet, right? I had these tokens in my Exodus wallet, and that's what we were trying to do. All right, so the Nomic airdrop is out there. Phase one, phase two should be coming along pretty soon. Uh, and it looks like they're probably going to be updating their page at some point here. There's looks like quite a bit of work to be done on the front end. And that is it. So again, just kind of highlighting some of the lesser known, lesser advertised airdrops in the Cosmos ecosystem that you might have that you don't even realize you can claim. All right. Again, hope you guys are having a great weekend. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel and watching. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video.